Now let's talk about the big blow up, which is episode 38B. And here's our other special guests, Francine and the Brain. Yes, I was called first. Technically, I am first, alphabetically. Oh, Brain, you and your Brainiac-like sense. Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, hi, Arthur. Salutations, Arthur. Are you ready for another exciting episode? Yeah! Sure! Okay then, let's get started. So this episode starts out with me, Francine and the Brain, in the treehouse. I told the viewers that Francine and the Brain are great friends, but when you talk to them about sports, that leads into an argument. Then I ate some popcorn so I could get comfortable for the argument. After the title card was read, everyone was playing soccer. Lakewood won. We only needed one more game to win, and then we would be in the playoffs. So the scene transitions to me and my friends practicing. As we were practicing, I passed the ball to Francine. Then the brain called out of bounds. Then the scene transitions to the brain trying to show proof that Francine was out of bounds. He even asked me. Then it was time to go home. The scene then transitions to me telling mom what happened. DW wanted me to help her write a letter to Santa. The next day, Francine and the brain were still mad at each other. I didn't even get a piece of paper for math. Also in the lunch line, they fought over green jello. Let's hope they don't stay mad at the soccer game. Thank you for reminding me, Buster. I almost forgot about that. Francine and the Brain were still mad at each other during that. Aw, oh, man. Then the scene transitions to me and Buster walking along and thinking of a plan on how to get Francine and the Brain like each other again. We played ping pong, mini golf, table ice hockey, and even cards for fun. Yet they were still mad at each other. I couldn't believe it. Me neither. Anyway, the scene transitions to me playing chess with Dad. I told him what was happening between Francine and the Brain. He told me they'll work it out in time. Except the playoffs were next week. Then DW entered the scene to ask for help on writing a new letter to Santa. Then the scene transitions to me and Buster trying to tell Francine and the Brain that if they don't make it up soon, we'll be out of the playoffs. It didn't convince them. Then the scene transitions to me and Buster in the treehouse. This next game was against Mighty Mountain. DW entered the scene for help on the Santa letter again. That gave me an idea. If Frank and the Brain just write about how they really feel, maybe, just maybe, they can make up. Buster and I got the letters from them, but they were not good once we read them out loud. So we rewrote them. Then the scene transitions to Buster handing the letter to Francine from the brain and me handing the letter to the brain from Francine. Oh, I hope the plan worked. It did. And guess what? We beat Mighty Mountain. After the game, though, Francine and the brain were mad at me and Buster because they knew we wrote the letters. Apparently, I can't spell soccer. Yeah, Buster spelled it with two K's in the Q. Are you sure it's not two Q's and a K? Oh, Buster. Well, that's how the episode ends. Wow, I never thought Arthur would describe our argument so well. Yeah, let's promise to never fight again, Francine. Agreed, Brain. Agreed. Well, that's Arthur Saves the Day. Now let's talk about each episode as a whole. What did you think of Buster Baxter Cat Saver, Buster? Well, Arthur, I thought this episode was quite interesting. Now I say that because this episode included two plots. What do you mean? Well, while the episode did focus on me acting like a big shot, DW had a plot as well where she was playing Crazy Bus. Oh, I see. Speaking of DW, what about DW All Wet? What did you think of that? Well, I thought this episode was a classic. I mean, it showed DW's preschool going on a field trip to the aquarium, which is one of my favorite places to go. She's so lucky. Also, when DW faced her fear, I was cheering her on. Inside, at least. Hmm. What about the big blow-up? What did you think of that? Well, I noticed something about this episode. This episode also had an A plot and a B plot. Oh? 
Yeah. You see, the episode did focus on Francine and the Brain and you and me trying to stop them from arguing, but the B-plot showed DW wanting to help on the list for Santa. Wow, Buster. That's very smart of you. Thanks. My favorite part was when Francine and the Brain made up. Mine too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. I would like to thank Buster, DW, Francine, and The Brain for coming on to our show. I would also like to thank Buster again for helping me out with this podcast. Finally, I would like to thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye!